This is the automated clinical site, uh, the demo site that has both uh, LCD or coverage determination for medical necessity for Medicare to orthopedic knowledge base based on anatomy, mapping uh, orthopedic uh, knowledge for or diagnosis and treatment, as well as all of the ICD-10 codes. And if we look at ICD-10, you're going to take something fairly complicated, such as cancer, but you can actually reduce it to about six lines. So now that you have malignant neoplasms, you can choose those, strictly go by anatomy, and you can see we can follow this decision tree down till we get the right number. Same time, if we had an error check, make sure we went enough to get paid, we can see that we did not go to this final specificity. This will warn us, show where we can go, and you can see that. At the same time, we can do a coverage determination, such as a total knee. And on that total knee, we can have all of our elements of x-ray findings, everything that we have as exclusion criteria, our coding, and our ICD-9 coding. At the same time, we'll put our treatment logic and bibliography in the note, review the transcript, and you can see that I did not put down my conservative measures. So we have to state that it's been, we've tried for more than three months. We've tried stretching exercises. We've tried a cane, some anti-inflammatories. Now when we do our error check, we see we've met criteria. By hitting the PDF uh, button, it puts it on my letterhead, and this will email it to me based on that medical records number. So if we go back, we can also go through and do uh, orthopedics. So if we do a cervical spine exam, it'll load everything we need to know about the cervical spine. So if they have a little asymmetry of their rib cage, a little, little scoliosis, they're walking okay, they got a little uh, trapezial spasm, a little tenderness along the medial border of the scapula. Their range of motion is normal. It'll take us to the next section. Uh, we're not going to do reflex testing. We'll defer that. And we'll find we had clinical uh, findings, two of a cervical sprain and two clinical findings of scoliosis. So if we go to the cervical strain, we can either choose ICD-9 coding or we can go to 10 coding and just follow this down. and make that the initial encounter. It'll have all of our tests that we want to do, all of our clinical uh, decision uh, information, our treatment plan. It'll take that transcript. It'll have inspection, palp palpation, range of motion, strength and reflex testing. In addition, now that we've chosen that diagnosis of sprain, It'll give us all of the differential, detailed description, the clinical symptoms, and referral or red flags. Then when I go and put this on my letterhead, it emails me two different forms, one in a HTML and one in a um, PDF. If we go out of that, we can go to another specialty. So if we wanted to do fractures, uh, we'll go to ICD-10 coding of fractures and you can see if you went to the foot and went to the AOS codex there'll be about two, uh, 2,000 codes for foot. If you type in foot fracture you'll get about another 600. So let's try a foot fracture. Let's say we broke our big toe. Well, how are we going to code that? Proximal phalanx of the big toe. Is it displaced or non-displaced? It's a non-displaced of the right one initial encounter, and now we have our seven-digit alphanumeric code. Uh, if we crush the ankle, uh, injury of the toe, the great toe, the right great toe, initial encounter, this is how fast we can follow the clinical decision tree. An open wound, where, it is, where is it? It's on the ankle. It's a laceration without foreign body on the right, and this is the initial encounter. Uh, we can go to uh, injuries. Let's see, we have uh, accidents. 
And in this case, uh, if somebody slipped and fell due to ice and snow, uh, they went down the stairs, initial encounter. Or if they fell from a cliff, initial encounter. Or if there's exposure to an earthquake, there's a code for that. Or floods. Or sequela of the flood. So you can give an idea that no matter what the code is, it will give you a good idea of how to follow the logic based on any anatomy in the chapters within the ICD-10. As far as neuro pain procedures, so if we want to do a sacroiliac injection, uh, we'll put that we're doing the SI joint. These are all the elements that you have to have in place. Your utilization guidelines, when there's less than three a year, your limitations or your exclusion criteria, your osteoarthritis code, your CPT code, your treatment logic, and again, the error checking shows that I forgot to put in what I did the right or the left. So to review the transcript, again, it'll give you the clinical course summary, and then a line-by-line uh, -line audit of how you've met the criteria for your local MAC. Thank you.